Hey, welcome back to our YouTube video tutorial. And this is another Laravel uh, tutorial where I'm going to teach you how to use Laravel inside your Docker container. Uh, from previous videos, I've showed you how you can use Laravel Sailor to get your application running. So today I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go to my folder. And I'm going to go to Laravel folder and I'm going to create a new Laravel project. And today, this video is going to show you like, let's say you have a normal Laravel project and you want to add uh, Docker support on it, which is a common uh, thing that might happen for your Laravel projects. That's what I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to create a Laravel with a normal Laravel command, Laravel. And I'm going to put a folder called demo, demo delete, because I will delete it after. And um, I love the new, right? I think there is new keyword here. So now this command is going to create a new project called demo delete. And this is going to be a normal rather than project, as you can see. And after that, I will add the support of Docker. So if you don't know about Docker container technologies, just one of the container uh, technology out there, such as uh, Kubernetes, but uh, very simple and easy to get started with, which if you are starting with the DevOps. And with this, uh, with this video, I'll be able to show you how you can add um, Docker support to an existing uh, Laravel project. And recently, I have created a, a video that shows how you can have that Docker Laravel project running. And uh, I have received some uh, views on it. And I decided to create another video that is going to follow uh, the previous video I have created so far. And I hope at the end of this video will be able to understand how Docker works on an existing Laravel project and why do you need Docker support on your Laravel project. The normal programming and uh, the normal Laravel project, you don't need Docker. You can have Laravel project running with normal PHP command and so forth, and you don't need Docker at all. So why do you need Docker? So first of all, if you are a DevOps, it is probably that you need a Docker in your resume because there's no way you can call yourself a DevOps if you don't, however, use activity or Docker, okay? And second reason is that a nowadays application structure, the application is built to be resilient in terms of workload, in terms of servers needed to run a single project. In fact, in today's server structure and architecture, it is not wise to have one server running your project. Because let's say if you have a project that is going to have a 10 million user or 1 million user accessing your project at one time. What don't happen in one case is that your server will start to fail because uh, most servers have like two gigabytes of RAM and cannot go beyond to eight gigabytes of RAM. Even though if it does, it's going to be so much expensive for you in order to cover the, the cost. So how can you work around that and without sacrificing the quality you provide to your customers. You need to always be up and running. You need able to. You need to be able to auto scale your cloud. Your, your order. I mean, your server for your customers. If they glow, your server glows with you. That is the key point of why we need Docker and other containerization technology. So now you understand how and why you need Docker in your resume and why you need it in your dev. So, and that's why I'm focusing this um, 
specific data area of one of their tool data. Because I have seen that uh, in past eight months, because the Docker support is kind new, the, the support of Docker on Lalave project was a little bit wonky and you needed, you needed to do a lot of things in order for you to get the Docker running. And that was just the past. And with Lalave 8, people are able to just uh, have Lalave project up and running. And to have the same project in Docker and be able to have the one more than more than one server running the same project. Not only this gives your project a smooth room to 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 run in, it's also going to give your deployment a little bit more fun than ever. So the Laravel project is scaffold is scaffolded, and I'm going just to open the code to a, a code editor. Remember I called it demo delete. I'm going to just type code demo delete to open the project in VS code. And once I open it, it's going to just open in a normal VS code. Remember from the previous video, I showed you that you need to have the window sub Linux system installed on your machine. And why is that? Because the Docker technology really use the Linux system in order for it to run. And that's why you need Linux subsystem part of Windows to be installed on your machine. So you can see that this VS code is opened in VS code and in normal VS code. Now there's a plugin for VS code in order for you to open the same project in Linux aware environment in order for you to run the Linux command. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to minimize this folder. Okay, wait. Give me a second. Okay, I can see the the VS code now. Yep. So now you can see the VS code really here. So what I'm going to do now is just to open this the same folder in Linux aware environment. So uh, let me open the same folder. So you can see that I have this uh, option where I can open the folder in WSL environment, which is the Linux uh, uh, subsystem on window. So I'm going to open the same folder in, um, oh, there's another way I can do it, let me see. See if I can open it in a simple way. Okay, let me open this folder in. Uh, what? I think I don't remember that. Just let me open the same folder in. Yes, I've got it. So I can open, I can do uh, control P, control P, then uh, do this, open. Open the same folder. Um, you see the same uh, choice that is popping up. That's what you open. You open this folder in uh, WSL. Choose the first option, then your folder will, will open in Ubuntu. If you have installed Ubuntu as the Linux subsystem, you can even install any other Linux distro in order for you to develop with it. So now uh, you can see that the same folder is opened in um, 
Linux aware environment. So now I'm going to open age, then add and Google how to add Laravel support to, uh, I mean, Docker support on Laravel project. And the reason why I'm Googling it is for you guys in order to see the process and see how you can do it for yourself. Let me open the terminal here. You can see that the terminal is a little bit different compared to how the other terminals are look. This is because the project is running inside of the Linux environment. So let me Google uh, Laravel save, save. And it's going to just put me where I should be, which is the Laravel documentation. So uh, you can see that the first things they have here is how you can install Laravel on the existing application, which I'm going to go there. And you can see that I need to run Composer require save and save it in the uh, Composer. So once I have it and I'm going to copy and paste it here and hit enter. So you can see that the Composer the composer is not found because I am in Linux environment. So the way I can do that is just um, go to the normal terminal, which I still have it opened. And I'm going to go inside the same um, folder. And I'm going to run the same command. And this command is going to save the relevant sale inside the the vendor as the other dependencies, as the other PHP dependencies. And after that, I'll be having the support of the Docker container because of this new dependency I have added. So once that is done, I'm going to go now run this command. So this is normal PHP command. So the, the Docker support comes when we are able to run this vendor bin sale app. And that's where we bring application up and live. So you can see that the, the command is completed and I'm going to run the second command. And this command is going to do what? Let me show you what it's going to do. So in order for Docker to run, it need two things. It need these files called Docker Compose, which is now comes when you install your Laravel new project. And it needs just to have the other environments like such as container, the Docker files and so on. So the, this command is going to do all of that required for, for me to run the, doc, the Docker support on Laravel. So once that is done, I'm going to go here and copy this vendor command and come now pay attention to this this command you don't have to run it in your cmd because cmd is a normal command prompt that doesn't know anything about the Linux. okay and the docker in order for it to run you need to be in a Linux environment remember and you need to come back to the same VS Code Terminal, which is a Linux aware environment and run the command in order for us to bring up the Docker project up and running. So now once we have it, you hit enter and it's going to pull the, the container required for this project to run. And because I have already uh, tested these things before, it's not going to take so much time to download the Docker container required for this project is because I have already this container running. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I open the Docker, uh, the Docker desktop application, this desktop application is going to show us what are the container we have here. You can see that uh, our demo delete is up and running. And if we toggle it down, we can see that our application is running on port 80. And we have the mail hub, which is the utility for us to be able to receive the emails while we are developing. And we have the Redis, which is an incredible thing because 
in environment where you don't have the the Redux, it was so hard for you to have the Redis uh, running. But right now we have it and we have the MySQL running. Did you notice that we didn't have to configure anything like the database and so on? It's because out of the box, Docker take care of them. So once we have that, we can head to this demo delete, which is running on port 80, and we can open it here. So how cool is that? You can open the same project by just clicking here. And it's going to show up on Rockerhost. Please show up, show up. So I need to give it time because sometimes it is still, um, you know, compiling here and I need to wait for it. I need to wait for it. We can see that now we have our river project running inside Docker contain. So I hope today in today's video you have learned a lot of things. One, how to get Docker support on your existing Laravel project. Second, why do you need Docker under your belt in order for you to be a dev op? Because you, you in my understanding that you cannot call yourself a dev op if you cannot know one of those technologies such as the Docker, the Kubernetes and so on. So I hope this video really served you as an informative video, and I hope that we can draw a healthier in, uh, software developer involvement in Rwanda and in Africa in general. And I hope to help in any way I can, uh, I can have. And I hope that you can share the video to other people so that we can benefit together. And uh, if you like our video, if you like our stories and uh, our visions, please subscribe to our channel, rate, uh, show some loves to, to this channel and to the community. And if you are super, super interested in us, please um, join the WhatsApp group. And that's where we do something like, uh, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one help, support, and so on. And, and this is totally free for you to do. So all we want is for you to subscribe, share to your friends, Let's have the, the developer community that really know what they're doing, and we hope you can do that together. Thank you for sharing and subscribing, and see you next time.